me again in the laundry room this time. Human element, showing my human self in the video so that YouTube doesn't delete the channel when the AI filter hammer comes down. Anyways, here's the monthly oil demand levels update. And as always, if anybody wants access to the graphs used in this video or hundreds of other graphs across all kinds of different subjects, all of those are in the drive folder linked in the description. Access to that is free. Any support helps with the maintenance of that as well as the channel. PayPal and Patreon links are down below. Just only support me if you actually can. So starting with the world's largest oil consumer, still the U.S., and it looks like that is never actually going to be overtaken. Still maintaining a relative plateau of 20 million barrels per day of average oil demand for the last 20 years or so. And this time coming in upwards by about 9 or 8% at 21.7 million barrels per day. China seeming like they may have hit their peak. Staying around 17 for the last 3 years now or so. And this time coming in just over 17 million barrels per day. India coming back down over the last few months after getting very close to 6 million barrels per day. Now they've gone back down over the first half of this year to 5.64. Japan actually coming in under 3 this time at 2.96. They're normally up over 3.5, and, and they were once up at 6 decades ago at their peak. Russia once having a demand level of 5 million barrels per day within the USSR. If Dropped to about two and a half after the collapse, but as their economy came back into existence in the 21st century, they climbed back up close to four. But in the economic fallout and blowback from the Ukraine invasion, they dropped back down towards three and have been oscillating around there frequently. And they're at their summer high right now, it looks like, coming in at 3.25. South Korea seems to be leveling off a bit under three at around 2.8. And especially given their demographic situation, they will be following Japan soon. And this time they came in at 2.68. Saudi Arabia fluctuates between 2 and 3 over the course of the year, highest in summer, when their electricity demand is highest because of how hot it is, since a lot of their electricity is still coming from oil-fired power generation. This time they're up just under 2.7, now 2.69 million barrels per day. Brazil got up close to 3, but then fell as their economy stagnated in the 2010s, and has come back up to and down from and up to around 2.5 again a few times. This time they came in at just over 2.2 it looks like. Canada, usually around 2.5 in present day, pretty steadily. This time they came in at 2.36. Indonesia has reached over 2 million barrels per day in terms of its average, and they haven't updated for a couple months, but last time they were just under 2.1, uh, 2.08. Germany was once up at 3, but has declined down to 2 over time. This time coming in at 2.02. .02. Mexico was once up at 2. But they never really recovered from COVID in terms of their oil demand levels at least. And I've only gotten back up as high as 1.6 a few times. This time they're down at 1.4. France is also down at 1.4. And post-COVID they are usually around 1.6. The UK post-COVID recovery is usually a bit lower than it was beforehand. Tending to average around 1.5. This time they came in down at 1.42. Italy in present day is down to around 1.3, and this time came in actually right at exactly 1.3. Spain is also usually at 1.3, this time coming in at 1.26. Turkey is up to usually 1.2 now, this time they came in at 1.12. Thailand is plateauing or leveling off around 1.2, and this time they came in at 1.18. Singapore peaked at around 1.4 and has been declining since then, now down to around or been under 1.2 usually, this time coming in at 1.26. Australia is climbing very slowly now from 1.1 up towards 1.2, this time coming in right at 1.1. Nederland was at 1 million flat post-COVID for a little while, 
but they've been declining since then, now down to averaging around 900. This time, though, they're all the way down at 797,000 barrels per day. Taiwan averaged around a million for a while, but has declined down to averaging about 900,000 now as well. And this time they came in at 832. Malaysia in present day is usually up around 800. This time they came in higher than they did previously, climbing up to 685. Egypt is usually in the 800s as well, and this time they're a bit down at 755. Poland is usually around 800 now. They've climbed up to that point, and they're close to Egypt at 744. Nigeria is gradually climbing from a demand level of 600 towards 700,000, this time coming in at 652. Belgium has been descending the other direction from 700 down to 600,000, this time coming in at 647. Algeria has almost reached an average oil demand level of half a million barrels per day, or 500,000. This time they came in back down at 471. Colombia is averaging about half a million in present day. This time they came in down by 20% at only 400,000. Kazakhstan is usually in the mid or upper 400,000s. This time dropping back down from their record high of 600 plus into their normal range again, this time at 460. Chile is plateauing out at about 400, this time coming in just a bit under at 361. Ecuador has gotten up to averaging about 300,000. This time though, they've had a drop back down to 250. Sweden has declined down to averaging about 300, and this time they came in at 287. And Greece flipped the 8 and the 7 from Sweden's number. They were also usually averaging 300, and this time they came in at 278. Romania is usually at around 250. This time they came in at 228. And 1,000 below them, Portugal came in at 227. They also usually average 250. And a quick run-through of the club of countries who average usually rate around 200,000. Austria came in this time at 234. The Czech Republic this time came in at 197. Hungary came in down at 177. Switzerland at 195. Finland at 185. And Norway at 186. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description to that drive folder I mentioned with these graphs and all kinds of other graphs that are free to access. There's also links to my Blue Sky and to my photography Instagram, one in the top pinned comment to my cat's YouTube channel. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.